Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This is Richard for Welsh Tech, and today we have the ASRock Z890 Riptide motherboard review. Should you consider this? Let's find out. Okay, so when it comes to the overall uh, accessories, well, do get the Wi Fi antenna, which is a Wi Fi 2.45 6 gigahertz antenna. You do get an ARGB splitter cable, which is fantastic, means you can actually hook up more than, uh, well, a load of fans. You do get the quick installation guide, you do get a notice about the OC, then you do get the thermistor cable, and you do get a special keyboard uh, cap for your keyboard. You do get two SATA data cables, you do get some more information, and as well as you do get a case badge for your case, which is quite cool. And then, of course, you get more information about the motherboard, and then you do get the motherboard itself, which, of course, does look very nice, the overall black layout as well, and that's pretty much it for the overall accessories included. Okay, so you get HD audio, you get basic 12-volt uh, RGB, you get three ARGB headers, to USB you get a ton of chassis as well as AIO you get five chassis uh, fan connectors you get front panel you got the BIOS you got the clear CMOS and then when it comes to SATA you get four SATA data cable uh, connectors you do get USB 3 and you get a USB 3 which is not horizontal and you get USB type C and the 24 pin connector is actually located perfectly in the motherboard as for more chassis headers well you do get two other ARGB connectors at the top of the motherboard with more CPU fan AIO connectors and another chassis connector and then you do get the CPU connector which is located right next to the heatsink at the bottom of the motherboard and then when it comes to the more headers you do get the another chassis header located right by here so this is the Intel latest chipset this is the 1851 that means 1851 pins as for the ddr5 support well it does support ddr5 non-ecc and buff buffered memory up to 9466 megahertz and it does support a capacity of system ram up to 256 gigabyte so all the m.2 slots on this motherboard aren't made equal now there's five in total but the top one is gen 5 the rest of them um, them are gen 4 you do get a wi-fi m.2 socket as well and then when it comes to pcie you do get a 5.0 16x slot at the top you do get a 4.0 x16 slot in the middle and then you do get a pcie 4.0 x4 slot at the bottom of the motherboard so when it comes to the power delivery, this motherboard is an absolute insane. It does have server grade low loss PCB. It does have 18 plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one power phase. It does have an 80 amp SPS for V cores plus GT plus SA with an enlarged heatsink armor. It does have memory OC shield and it does have a 20K long lasting black apps. That means high quality capacitors. This motherboard is just jam-packed with features. It's got PCI Gen 5, it's got dual channel DDR5, it's got Thunderbolt, it's got server grade low loss PCB, it's got flexible integrated uh, I.O., it's got killer 2.5 LAN, it's got ASRock Lightning Gaming Port, it's got BIOS Flashback, ASRock Auto Driver Installer, it supports the latest Intel Core Ultra Series, hybrid technology, turbo boost, everything you want in a motherboard, so when it comes to the overall heat sinks, well, ASRock does actually name it intelligent cooling design. The first thing that catches the eye is the optimized aluminium heat sink design. Heat sinks are crucial for efficient heat dispersion, which I do actually agree. Now, this one is actually big enough for long gaming sessions and what i will say is that the overall vrm temps didn't go above 35 celsius during a full cpu uh, render during ada 64 so that's actually good okay so the rear io you do get optical spit if output you do get the audio jacks which is for rear speaker you do also get four usb 3.2 gen 1 port you get two Gen 2 3.2 Type A ports, that's 10 gigabit. You do get two Thunderbolt 4 
type c ports that's 40 gigabit you also do get a hdmi port you get two antenna port so gpu is the rx 9060 xt it does also have a thousand watt be quick power supply it's got a noctua nh uh, 12 it does have a uh, 32 gigs of kingston fury renegade 8000 megahertz ram it does have a core ultra 7 265k and it does have a gen 5 drive okay then so this is the bias of the z890 riptide wi-fi from asrock this is the overall layout of the bios now it does have xmp modes which this motherboard does support up to 9200 megahertz ram at the moment i've only got ddr5 uh i'm using kingston fury ddr5 and it is at 7200 megahertz now as for this this is the easy uh, mode of the bios and as you can see you can do instant flash you can do fantastic tuning which you can just tune the fans itself gives you a thermal but there the cpu i am using is an intel core ultra 7 2 6 5 k and like i did say i got 32 gigs of uh kingston fury ram now as for the advanced mode now the advanced mode by here in the main menu is going to tell you the specs of the cpu type the processor speed the cache the overall uh uf uefi version then it's going to tell you and which of the ram slots are populated and then by here then it's got the the temperature the voltage it's got the cpu it's got the memory and then gives you a description and of uh, the collection of the bios items now you've got oc tweaker and as you can see by here i have actually enabled it this is just a boost this will just boost the cpu this one by here then is for overclocking specifically power delivery i have put on asrock extreme mode now i'm on stage one for the optimization for the cpu and then you've got a cpu indicator by here this will tell you the cpu but there how many the p core the e core the overall uh, vid the average the vmax the overall quality statistics and then by here then you've got cpu configuration this is where you do the initial uh, manual overclocking where you just uh, set the per p core and e core the max is you'd say uh also do the avx2 ratio set offset you can do the cpu eco ratio then this is um, when it comes to the rest of it. it does give you a little description here which is quite cool with these uh, motherboards and it does a lot uh, it has a lot of different overclocking features for this particular motherboard for the price point at 260 i think it is it's not actually bad considering what you're getting then you've got the dram configuration this is where you can just overclock the dram then you've got voltage control which is this is where you would control the voltage then you've got this uh, cpu dvvr this will be also voltage for the cpu as well and then that's it for that now if you go to advanced you can go to cpu configuration this will tell you everything this is more of like an uh, advanced option just tells you everything else you want to know so if we go back this will tell you the chipset you can enable it's got every single thing this supports uh, gen 5 mvmes it supports uh wi-fi 7 then you've got storage configuration which you do uh, enable it i have got a gen 5 drive here it's the a pacer gen 5 they've got mvme configuration you've got intel thunderbolt i've never tried thunderbolt so it's quite cool to have a motherboard here that i can try it with you've got the ac pi configuration which is basically like uh, the power devices off keyboard usb configuration you've got the trusting computer this is where you can put like extra security on it then you've got network stack configuration this does have 2.5 then it's come the intel this does support obviously uh raid as well we've got this end for easy mode and then it's that now the tools but here led it's got as rock the rgb the media uh sanitization that's a uh cool feature but i'll just wipe it basically and then you've got the auto driver installer the instant flash and then you've got the intel mei flash then you've got hardware monitor which is quite cool you can configure the fans and stuff like that security 
and then you got the boot then which you obviously you'd have to adjust it going forward obviously you adjust it when it comes to the overall uh, boot manager you want to start with but as for the bios that's pretty much it actually okay and so this is actually all the software that's actually uh it on this motherboard is quite uh, nuts to be honest now the rgb software isn't the best but this does have a lot of different softwares mainly uh, Intel but as this is a K version of the CPU this does have onboard graphics but then you got the motherboard utility this is where you can actually adjust everything on the desktop which is quite cool don't install Norton you've got the restart to uh, UEFI uh, you've got the RGB software and then of course they do have signal RGB which it is compatible with that as well now as so the BIOS of course to download the BIOS you go to the ASRock website find out which specific motherboard you've got it has to be the correct one otherwise you could uh, damage it but this motherboard does have instant flashback so you just be careful this has so much support this is all the NVMEs that this particular motherboard supports it also has the CPU support which is quite cool as well then it does give you the memory so let's just say right so ultra 2 there we go this will tell you all the kits of ram that this is also compatible with okay then so what did you think of that now yes i do go through a lot of detail when it comes to this motherboard and i want to give a big shout out to intel for providing the uh core ultra 7 uh, 265k cpu for this without them sending that out i wouldn't have been able to get this motherboard into review and this motherboard and that cpu will be go uh, being used moving forward it will be going to my intel platform for aios as well as cpu cooler reviews you're both going to get intel as well as amd that's the plan anyway so that's going to take a bit of time i need to set up a whole system and stuff like that but as for this particular one i did use for uh, 32 gigs of ddr5 from kingston they're very um the was it the Ren renegade or the, the, they're very high-end 8000 megahertz ram i did clock at 7200 megahertz for that and i did use a uh, rx 9060 xt graphics card for the uh, just for that and a two terabyte gen 5 mvme so yeah look i like the uh, motherboard itself if you guys want to buy one then when this code hits up on the screen if you want to save uh, money, then use that code. You get 5% at backtotheoffice.co.uk. Big thank you to Intel and a big thank you to them as always. Back to the office.co.uk for the continued support. And as always, look, don't forget to subscribe because I've got absolute tons of stuff coming. I've got a Lee and Lee build. I've got a Lee and Lee budget build coming. I've got absolute tons of stuff. NAS is here. I've got loads, new cases, coolers, everything. I've got absolute tons of stuff coming, so make sure you subscribe for that. And as always, this is Rich for Welsh Tech. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and week ahead of you. Goodbye.